Hi everyone, welcome to Python Osmosis, episode 20, the screencast that iterates through the sequence known as the Python tutorial. I'm Ryan Shane, and in this episode we'll be talking about tuples and sequences. So we've already learned about some types of sequences, like a string, stringy equals. Now you can iterate through a sequence. Or a list is also a sequence. Equals square brackets. One, two, three. Same thing. There's another sequence type in Python called a tuple. A tuple is a lot like a list, except it is immutable. You can't change it. So if I look at listy here and use the tab in IPython to see what methods are available, there's all of these things that will actually change the list in line. Inserting, appending, sorting. A tuple isn't going to have any of that. Let's go ahead and create one. So I'm creating a tuple that has two integers and a string in it. And if I do type t, it is a tuple. Notice I didn't put any square bracket or anything like that on this tuple. More explicit way of creating a tuple is by putting open and close parentheses. Uh, that's that basically just tells Python that this is indeed a tuple. Uh, it's not necessary at all because Python assumes that if you don't have the parentheses that that the item is going to be a tuple. In the same way that you access an element of a list, you can access the element of a tuple. So t of 0, t of 1, t of 2, uh, square brackets once again. You can create a tuple of tuples, just as you can create a list of lists. u equals t, take that first tuple that we created, and then let's, let's put another tuple on there. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Notice we use the open and close parentheses here. And as we'd expect, we have a tuple of two different tuples. First our tuple t, and then our newly created one, two, three, four, five tuple. If you want to create an empty tuple, you just set empty to open close parens with nothing in there. Obviously that comes back with just open close parens. Notice also that anytime that, a, that Python shows us a tuple, it does explicitly use the opening and close parens, even if we assigned it without using them. One one anomaly of the tuple is if you're creating a tuple that only has one item in there, you're going to want to have a trailing comma. So for example, let me show you what happens if you don't do this. So open So it created a string rather than a tuple. Python had no way to know that I uh, to tell between a parenthetically separated string and an actual tuple of one item. So if I create that again and I just put a trailing comma and then I said uh, actually I just get type singleton, it is a type tuple. Now as I had mentioned earlier, packing is assigning multiple values to a tuple. Packing a tuple would be uh, L equals 1, 2, 3. It packs the integers 1, 2, and 3 into the tuple L. Uh, we've looked at unpacking a while back. Uh, foo bar baz, but you can unpack a tuple just by setting that equal to tuple. And then if I look at foo bar baz, it unpacks into those variables. That's all for now. This screencast is directly inspired by the official Python tutorial by Guido Van Rossum at python.org.